Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how you can create the compute cluster. Okay, so in my last video, I have already told you how you can create community edition um, account in Databricks. And once you create the community edition, you will get the limited service here. But that's fine for start. First of all, I can show you like uh, what are all things is there. So if you see the workspace. So one by one we will see all the things. So first things is we need to compute, create the compute here. So you can come here and create the click on compute. You can see there are option to create compute. Okay. This will create the machine for you in the cloud and that you can utilize to create the notebook and you can work on uh, creating job and all. Okay. So this is the first things that is required. You can give the compute name as test, test server or anything. Okay as per your uh, project you can place it if you see here they are mentioned that in the instance free 15 gb memory as a community edition user your compute will automatically terminate after an idle period of one or two hour okay so that is the reason you will get here only one driver and 15 gb free memory and two two core and one dpu that is because we are using Community edition. Okay, so here you can see what and all version are there. So see these many versions are you for time being you can just uh, search this one and then click on create. They are not more often. Okay, but I will show you when we are we will create uh, Databricks with Azure or Databricks with AWS and GCP. Then that time I will show you there are multiple options. So if you see, it is being created creating in background. So instance, this is in a US waste to see John June, okay. And Spark, this is the environment variable here, JDBC, okay. So all those things is uh, here. You can see this is being created, creating. This notebook libraries, okay. So it will take some time to create. So it will take some time to create. So what does this uh, LTS means? If you see here, LTS this is means that long term support. So long term support means uh, every month this version and on getting changes. So but if you if you select anything that have LTS means the version will not change frequently so this is a long term support version okay now you can see if you go to the compute just refresh it you can see this your uh, test server is running fine okay you can go to the ui as well if you click here you can click on spark ui you can see the driver log app compute spark compute ui master library notebook if it is attached with the server okay so all those things you can see here so see this is ui spark ui see here. in the spark uh, how many driver and uh, executor is running all those things you can find out here you can open in this new tab as well from clicking here if you see here storage okay this is just a spark installed in the server okay so if you have worked previously in apache spark so internally this is the spark only so spark creator only has created this data picks and internally it is having this apache spark the fine grained apache spark that is more powerful so you will get the feel of apache spark here so if you see here if you are having any streaming job running you can go there and monitor how many streaming job is running here if jdbc so all those things we will discuss later so this is the how you can create the cluster okay now we will go to the workspace this is the workspace workspace means uh, there are many user will be working here so in your company might be there there are 10 to 15 users so all the users list will be inside this user okay here and if someone is shared some notebook or some things with you so it will be there in shared folders there are two folder user and shared so right now this is uh, my personal account and uh, if i want to add you people also I can also add here I can go to uh, go to here and user setting admin setting 
in the admin setting you have the option to add user okay Th that also we can do so if we will add user here so you can see users operating here as well so for time being i will just explain you how you can create the notebook here so you can click here. this this is very good uh, this ui is very uh, good actually if you click here uh, it, it will minimize if you click this one it will maximize and if again if you click if something is there it will go here okay right now there is nothing so if you, if you right click this you will get the create notebook okay if you want to create one folder let's suppose that i am creating one folder called, called practice spark okay create the folder inside this also you can create again one folder okay it depend on you how you you want to organize your data and how you want to, want to organize your files and all so now i will go here create and will create one notebook so this notebook is similar to jupyter notebook okay and this notebook you can share with uh, your colleague as well there is one share option so that's what in the my previous video i have told you that this this we call it collaborative notebook so you can collaborate with your uh, teammate okay if you if you want to share you can share it so let me just give the name okay it's similar to jupyter notebook so let me just uh, put some something like uh, practice code give some relevant name here and now if you see there are option to run the notebook whatever language you are comfortable you can choose it from here so sometimes you can write python sometimes you can write uh, uh, scala or r okay so right now let's suppose that i choose here python here now just try to write print hello okay so it will work so the python context is different now if i want to run here something called uh, uh, for this particular sale i want to run in scala program or sql program so i can go here and change this particular cell so let me just run some scale so, or you can write here percentage sql just write here select name or just put it here submit okay run it see it will give you so it is in back in backend it is running the sql code it will run the spark job to show the spark job because uh, okay you see column name is Sumit and data is also Sumit. if you want to just put the name as as name okay you run it see name Sumit. so here you can run the sql you can run the python if you want to run scala code so scala code also you can run if you want okay so so this is the notebook okay so that's all for uh, this video and one more thing whenever you if you if you have not created this compute cluster first of all i create the compute cluster and if you see here this work i can i, I can go in here work, workspace or if you have recently opened this uh, notebook you can come to the recent and from recent also you can open okay so recent i can open click here and open it so if you see here there is the server attached to it if you directly come here and try to create the notebook then you need to create you need some server to run some, some server that should run to run this notebook because internally this notebook code should will be running in this server okay so first of all you create the compute and then you attach so in the company if you are a data engineer so there will be admin team that will create the compute cluster and uh, they will give you certain access on that so that uh, you cannot run delete command on your on certain tables so that that and all things uh, admin do okay so basically basic things that you need to attach cluster here to run in any notebook okay so hope you understand how to uh, create the notebook and all so that's all for this video thank you very much